Welcome, welcome everybody to Sunday lunch. Kada Choi need to pray for food. Okay, Sunday lunch this week. It's just us and our family left, and Miriam and Naki. All our visitors from New Zealand have gone back. And Fasa also has gone on his job to Fiji. So we have our boiled saro here, like we normally have it. Um, Pacific Imperial Pigeon, Supolupe. And we have beef lasagna over here. Sausages, or uh, whatever you call them. And we have some pork bones in here with pak choy. Lou with corned beef and coconut cream. In those little bundles. So that is our Sunday lunch this week. Just us. Lasagna, sausage, taro, and pork lola. That's pork lola, that's um, blue for the body. Mummy, eating by yourself, son? Mm hmm. Oh, just lasagna and taro. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's lasagna and taro, this fella. Just taro and. Lupun. That looks good. Wow, look at all this beautiful food here. As you can see, I'm a big taro fan, especially with the talofase here, fasesea. Check that out. Look at this pork bone. Mmm. Hey, look at that. Mm. Very, very nice taste. Miriam said it's because she uses the Himalayan salt. Man, that pork bone is beautiful. It just taste very, very nice. Super lacy. Whew. Man, that lupe rises. Too good. See this? So, so beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Woo. So rich. The corned beef, Pacific corned beef with coconut cream and the taro leaf. So wonderful. Mm. For some reason, I think the loo might need a little bit. Taste it. It's nice, but it's manihu. Do you want manihu for palangi? Spicy. No, not like that. Hot? Not spicy, but it's that, um, I don't know how to describe that feeling in your throat. Yeah. Manihu, a little bit. It's 
Nga mo mo lu ho mo. Ng kada pon de la ta lo la. Wo ko. The rice from the sloop is wonderful. Funny story. Share. Oh, this is the best part of the lobby for me. The priest. Fata Fata Lupe. Too wonderful. When we were firstly married, we were having our lunch or having a feed. And over here, the family, we, we don't normally have too many, a lot of lupus that we put in our oven. We might have like two, three, four, just round about those numbers. And one of our first meals here, my wife, she said she was going to take the one whole look at I think there was like two on the table. So she looked around, people just kind of broke a piece. So she just followed, she didn't take one whole one. Only later on she mentioned that. She's so glad she didn't take the whole thing, otherwise... Now people were like, oh, she took the whole pin. Which is a common thing for them, where she comes from. Only later on when I attended their feeds, when they do their room, it, they'll have a lot of pigeons they put in the oven. More than 10, up to 20 sometimes. Because their family and their dad, my grandfather, he really good at shooting pigeons with her brothers. So they used to get lots and that's the norm so then so when they're having a feed apart from other food they will have like yeah 10 or maybe up to 20 or more of the pigeons at one time. So a person will just come grab one whole pigeon for themselves and then you can have another one and another one up to you two or three. Whereas for my side we don't normally do that. But we don't have that many for people can have themselves like that. So yeah, we talk about it, we laugh about it. No one says, man, it's so good that you didn't take the whole thing. Otherwise we won't hear the end of it nowadays. My siblings or my family will be teasing her, the one who took the whole pigeon from the table. Yeah. But then, those are the things you have to understand, the context of why behind it. And that's a perfect example. Because she did what she did. But where she came from, that's the norm. But on the outside, not really. And that's the story about the lupi. And I have some more rice onto it. You know this rice here is all soaked with the fat or the oil, all soaked with the fat or the oil from the pigeons. Mm -hmm. So it's car part. Oh, that rice is just beautiful. Not bad. Pretty good. No wonder why the kids handled all of it pretty quick. Don't want to get overly full. We'll get to make a drink today. Most times Robin who does the drinks. 
And I just had a signal from my camera person, hey, if you can hear her, Punji to herself, and she's the one who makes the drinks. So I don't know why there's no drink today yet, if she's the drink person. Doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> hey, camera person. Describe a little bit of a pork brownie. Taro. Yeah, look at how all the meat falling off the bone here. Nice, well cooked. I better, I better stop here now because otherwise it will be overly full but this is perfect already Man, that's You can remember from the last video, my favorite part of the taro, the mat of the dalo. I've had this, I want to keep on going. Dang. One more, one more, just a little bit more for my taro. Good. There we go. That's a beautiful meal. And we still got quite a few left. So, well, this is today's episode. Thank you everybody for tuning in and watching this video today. As always, grateful for your support grateful for you tuning into our channel and hopefully you can continue to follow us and uh, watch our videos when we upload on Fridays or the next Sunday lunch take care out there and uh, you want some more what do you want Taro okay as you can see this little fella I don't know what he was doing when people were eating now he wants some more time, just as I was saying bye on our video. Here we go. Okay, Fuggy? Huh? Oh, yeah. You want this one? Lupi? Okay. All right, so signing off now. Thank you for always tuning in and following us on our videos and commenting and all that. Please continue doing that. Drop a comment, drop a like, or subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Everybody out there, do take care and peace.